Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at Trans West and Horse Trailer Sales as well as Toy Haulers. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we carry a big range of Cimarron and Logan trailers. Um, this was actually, this is, it doesn't look like it, but this is actually a used trailer that we just got in on trade. Uh, we sold it originally. So we know kind of what we've done through the shop. And then when these trailers come back in on trade, they go through our shop one more time. Um, they get an alignment. They check all brakes, bearings, electrical. Um, on the living quarters side, they go through all the water systems, pressure test everything, um, make sure all the safe, safety systems are working. And then if there's, there's anything major that needs, needs addressed, they do it at that time. So this is a 2019. Logan Ultimate Sports Hauler. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with this, this is Logan's line of toy haulers. So if you've got motorcycles, side-by-sides, snowmobiles, anything like that, and you want the, the gooseneck setup with the longevity of a horse trailer, um, you don't want something that's just gonna rattle apart going down the road, this is a really, really great option for you. And for those of you that are looking to save a little bit of money, um, this is a used trailer, so you do uh, benefit from the discounts of being the second owner. So let's kind of check it out. So on this trailer, you've got a 12-foot living quarter with a 16-foot garage space. So you've got plenty of room to put all those bigger toys in it. Um, we've added this 50-gallon fuel cell on here. So if you look underneath, you've got the 50-gallon fuel cell. And the cool thing about this is you can just pull a toy right up to your trailer and you have a traditional um, nozzle here and then you can see your fuel gauge uh, to, see, to see how much fuel you have left in there and it's a pump so you don't have to hand pump or anything like that. And it's just a typical, you pull it up to the pump to fill your fuel. So very, very easy to use, um, a really great option so you're not having to tote around all those gas, gas cans and worry about them sloshing and spilling when you're in your garage area. Up above, you'll notice we've got a nice big awning. It's an electric awning, so it slides in and out really, really easily. Um, this makes it a really great spot if you want to throw a picnic table, um, maybe throw a grill out here. Since you've got a somewhat smaller living space in there, a lot of the time when you're out on the trails riding your side-by-sides and dirt bikes, you're not gonna be spending most of your time inside. There's a lot of really nice, comfortable aspects about the living quarters, but having the outside space is usually why people are getting out there. So having the nice big awning um, just makes it really comfortable during the heat of the day. We do have a little water spigot out here. So if you do wanna attach a nozzle, spray off the kiddos before they go inside. Um, the nice thing about this is the bathroom you can access through the garage. So you don't have to have them tromp their dirty, dirty boots and bodies through the trailer. You can just have them go through the garage area. But if you don't want them to even do that, you can just have them rinse their feet off outside. So we'll kind of make our way in here. All right. So as you'll notice, this is a little bit upgraded over what you see on some of our standard horse trailers. This is the platinum interior. We can build this way on our horse trailers, but um, on the Logan Ultimates, everything's a little bit upgraded. Um, you've got nice soft touch walls, um, which I'm wearing gloves, so it doesn't really make a difference <laughs> to me right now. Lots and lots of storage. This one has a dinette, um, so you can fold down this table and scoot these cushions together, and you have an extra sleeping space for someone. Um, you've also got the queen bed, and then actually in the back, when we head back there, you have two more sleeping spaces. So there's plenty of room to bring the whole family along. You guys will have a great time getting out, exploring some trails. Up in the nose there, um, you've got a really big, comfortable bed. I was turning lights on earlier. Um, I had to scoot on it, and I just wanted to take a nap up there. This is something I really like about this trailer storage for all your pantry items you get those spices sugar flour everything that you need up on these little these little racks and it just makes it super easy um, kind of a great way to fill fill some smaller spaces with lots of storage um, and then you also have 
some nice coat storage in here. We've got some additional shelves in here, um, a, a mattress pad, and then some of the, the Max Air fan, the remote controls for the garage area. Um, you can play your speakers in here, kind of get the party going. Lots of fun. Got a big two burner cook cooktop here. Um, heat up your coffee water in the morning. Bake some mac and cheese. And then a nice size sink um, with, with a little spray nozzle that kind of moves around. So in a camper style, you don't always get a lot of counter space. So I think by having this movable nozzle, it just makes, utilizes the space really, really well. Some under counter lights. And then, like I said, they just put storage kind of wherever they can. And if you've had a long day out on the trailer trail and you just want to microwave a quick meal, you have that option as well. So this trailer does not have an onboard generator. Um, we've had a lot of luck with those Onan 4500 portable generators. Um, they're what we run our video trailer off of every day. Um, I know generators are a little harder to get your hands on right now, but if you pull into a campsite that has some power into it, you can plug in and run your AC, microwave, all of, all of your fun toys and gadgets through it. A little fun addition that the last owners did, they did a little, little, little beer top opener. Yep, so then our, right up here, um, you do have your controls for your, your awning. So as you see, it just rolls in nice and easy at the touch of a button. So you can good, kind of adjust how, you, how far out you want it. Um, you also have your slide room controls. So this slide is super quick and zippy. Um, I'll just have you turn around and you can kind of see how quickly it goes in. So that's just off of battery right now. Um, slides in and out really nice and easy and gives you just so much space. And then you also have your hot water heater and then your monitor panel here as well. So there's a lot of, lot of easy to reach features there. You've got a nice little fold up countertop extension. So if you do need to have a little bit more space while you're cooking, just makes it really, really easy to use. And then right under here, you've got some more storage. And if you look way back there, you've actually got a 10 gallon hot water heater on this trailer. So that's a little bit bigger than our standard six gallons that we do on most of our trailers. So you can take, it takes a little bit longer to heat up, but you can take a longer shower, which if you've uh, had any crashes during the day, that might be kind of nice to have. All right, so as we work our way in here, um, you've got kind of a smaller little bathroom, but you've got everything you need in here, toilet, sink, and shower, um, lots more storage. These shelves are adjustable, so if you've got some longer coats and shirts that you need to hang, um, like that, that gentleman over there, he took out his shelves and um, so you could have a little more hanging space, which is kind of nice to have. Um, nice, good sized shower in here. Makes it very easy. And right under here you have your furnace and some more storage. And I really like the finishes in this trailer. It's very modern. Um, it's gonna hide dirt pretty well. You're, you're gonna be able to, it's gonna be able to withstand a lot for the long run. So I mentioned those Max Air fans. So this is one of them. Um, so you can, you have a little remote that works off of that or you can use manual controls, but basically you can suck air in, suck air out. Um, they're awesome little fans. They put out a lot of, a lot of wind. So this is the part that most people are excited about um, when they think about a toy hauler. So this is your garage area. Um, this trailer's eight six wide, and you've got 80 inches between your fenders here, um, between your wheel wells. So you've got plenty of room to drive those bigger toys up in here um, without having to worry about clearance. These are your two, they've got them set up as couches right now, but they're two fold down sofas. And you've got windows on either side, so you can get a nice cross breeze going through here. You've got plenty of of shelf storage here, lots of cabinet storage, and if you'll notice, we've equipped a lot of these with um, not only outlets but USB ports because a lot of people, their stereos, their phones, everything's getting charged off of a USB. 
these days, so we've just kind of gone that direction. I really like having all of these um, these uh, um, coat hangers back here. Um, my husband, he rides dirt bikes and he's always got tie downs or jackets or anything like that. And it's just nice to get them off the floor, um, get them out of the shelves. And you can have a really nice organized row kind of going up and down. If you ride snowmobiles, um, then you've got probably lots of snow equipment, um, big heavy jackets. Get all of that off the walls. Don't let it uh, pile up in a little crumple in the corner so that it can dry and air out. Um, one of the only, one of the few places you'll see any wear and tear on this trailer is um, he probably had a, a bike or something sitting against there as he was going down the road. Can't really see it, but just look at it as a, a good way to get a discount on a nice trailer that's been very well taken care of. Um, a little tabletop workbench here, um, so if you have to uh, do any work on your bikes or anything like that, you have a little bit of space. And then another Max Air Fan, Max Air Fan up there as well. They're braced for AC units, so if you needed to ever um, take one of those out and put an actual AC unit in, that's something that's really easy for them um, to do. And then uh, it's got one up in the front. Yeah. And the flat vent come from the AC right there. So that's that's a vent that's ducted out. You've got your AC and then your furnace is down below. So if you do have people sitting back here um, and you've got an AC running, you will get some airflow going back here and you can use the fan if you're just um, out boondocking and not connected to real power. So that's kind of one of the nice things about that. You don't have to be hooked up to 30 amp in order to experience the benefits from those fans. Um, you've got airliner cargo track down below. These are really nice because you can kind of adjust where you want, want your tie down straps and everything like that. Um, you can kind of put them all along, make sure everything's really secure. And I like this rubber coin flooring. It's really easy. Um, it's rubberized texture. So it's got a little bit of grip to it. You're not gonna, if you've got some, some wet vehicles you're putting in here, you're not gonna go slip and sliding all over the place, but it's really easy to clean out. You can hose it out. Um, <clears throat> you can broom it out. Makes it really, really maintainable um, while you're on the road. And then the pass-through door into the living quarters, as I mentioned. Make the kids go in there, shower off before they jump on your bed. Two events. <clears throat> what was that? Two air vents there? Yep, so you've got, since you do have fuel vehicles in here usually, we do have pop vents so that you can get some airflow going back here. We wanna make sure these trailers are really safe for people. Um, so having those two-way vents to get some air going through is something that we need to have on these trailers. And you've got nice bright LED lights. Um, and then if you don't wanna put the ramp down, I like this ramp because it's a cable assist ramp. So as you can see, um, you don't have to kind of take the whole brunt of the weight getting this ramp up and down. It's got some help, so I can actually get it up and down myself. Um, but if you don't want to have, or you don't have enough room, but you need to pop in here and, and tighten down some bikes or anything, you've got a little man door exit right here, so you can pop in, climb over some stuff without having to put this all the way down. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard at all. And I'm definitely, the, I'm sure I, if you guys have watched any of these videos before, I'm the example for the weak person here when they need to show somebody how easy it is to do something. So, um, on the rear here, there's some tread bright plate up high, as well as all the way along. That way, if you've got somebody that, um, you know, this is, a more heavily worn part of your trailer. Just protects it a little more than this 050 aluminum that's on the side sheets. So it's just kind of a nice little added benefit. <laughs> These wheels here, you've got um, the aluminum wheels. You've got 8K rubber torsion axles. And we actually rotated them 22.5 degrees down to give you a little more clearance. We don't expect people are just gonna be taking these on the highway. You know, your probably destinations are Moab and the sand dunes and all that stuff. So we needed something with a little bit more clearance. 
as you work your way over here. This trailer does have a Four Seasons package. So you'll notice you don't just have tanks hanging down. Um, they're kind of tucked up and um, in this insulation here to keep them a little bit warmer so that you don't have, um, you can kind of play around for a lot longer throughout the season. So that's a really other, nice other feature of these trailers. More of a year round use, which is cool. Got your slide out here. So if you've got your, um, your 60 gallon uh, water tank, as well as if you are at a campsite that has water or you're staying at somebody's house that they have a hose that you can put onto, there's a city connection as well. So this is one of the reasons that the original owners bought this trailer. They really liked this roll up door enclosure. So as you're going down the road, that enclosure will help protect against a lot of road blast. Um, so you're not getting those chunks like, like look how clean these propane tanks are after a year of use. Like they are in great shape. And that's because this door enclosure, you know, a lot of older trailers come in and you see they've got little rust marks everywhere. Um, that's something that really protects it. You can throw your, your hoses up here. They've got their um, 30 amp cord. You've got your battery as well as your battery disconnect. So if you are parked and not using your trailer, you can make sure that this is turned to red and that'll turn off all the lights and everything in your trailer so that nobody, when you go to hook up this trailer, you're not having dealing with a dead hydraulic jack. So single leg hydraulic jack goes up and down really easily. Um, I don't have my key on me right now, otherwise I would show you. This trailer is 12,720 pounds empty. So it's, uh, I think they were using a 2,500 um, diesel for this and they hauled it all over pretty easily. So it's something that can easily be hooked onto. Uh, contact your truck manufacturer if you wanna see if your truck is capable of, of pulling something like this. So seven, six tall, makes it really, really spacious in there so you can get a lot of headroom. If you guys have any questions on this trailer, um, you can look it up on our website, transwest.com. The stock number is 5U201-1112. It's a 2019 Logan Coach Ultimate Sports Hauler. If you kind of like, if you like this setup, um, this is a used model, so it's going to be a really great value for you. We've also got a big range of Cimarron Freedoms here as well, and as well as some other used toy haulers. So if you guys are looking to haul some, some dirt bikes, side-by-side -side snowmobiles, um, kind of all of the above, give us a call. You can reach me at 970-309-6368. I would love to answer any questions for you and get you into a new trailer by the end of the year. Thanks for tuning in.